Hey there everyone, this is Life Rick. welcome back to my playthrough of Veteran Odyssey. Today we are going to continue exploration of the 4th stratum. 4th? 3rd? 3rd stratum. If it was the 4th stratum, I'd be even happier. Uh, let's just go to the 3rd... Oh, going backwards when pressing right again. And... Let us go back over to the C to C3 section. Shouldn't take that long to reach. Given it's mostly just a squiggly squiggly line to get there. Apparently there was a little mishap with the map over here last time. It does have this indentation over here, though it leads to nothing. Uh, let's quickly go south. And go south from here and see what's over here. Got a door. Essentially leads somewhere. Double the amp set. And we continue. Small mound here, looking close to you, find rotting shields and next to broken shields and broken swords. Sorry about that, slight interruption. Check. Hello? Game? Okay. You bend down, reaching towards the broken sword. The sword. You've obtained articles left behind by the three deceased adventurers. Well, okay then. Now we can turn that in and get some of our space back. This is a mine point. Come back for it later. So, uh, I have a mild guess that the rock coral can also be obtained from these mine points as well as the frogs. But uh, that's just an inkling feeling. Another violet door we can't enter. Another mad worm tree frog set. And we continue. Get a salve out real quick. We should be finding this violet key soon. I don't remember where it is though. Other than that, uh, we're just gonna have to remember that it's here. Quickly map this small room in. This is a door, and mark it with a violet. And there we go. And let's go south from over here. Oh. And we're gonna run into a solo tree frog set on our way over there. That's so amusing. Get out of my way, tree frog. You're so silly. Uh, there's probably a pit behind this door. In fact, we're gonna assume there's always pits behind these doors, aside from the one that Rin was in. So, if that is true, then the top portion of the D2 segment, near the top right, one from the, it's, it'd be the D2A4 segment, would lead to a place we haven't been before. It'd probably be there. Well, that means there's no real harm in actually going into this one, so let us go in and, oh, this is not a pit, so we cannot... We came for nothing. But we always assume it's a pit until we try it. And so we can move this point safely. This is not a drop down there. Alright. Leave several directions open. Let's go to the west. Double death ant set. And let's go real quick. That ends, okay. And what's over here? That's a wee nearby, oh it's above us, so let's not worry about him. Another double death, death hand set with a blind side this time. Still being as harmless as ever. And that's it for that. Get this salve out. Traverse every corner. Uh, if you say so. Um, guy, there's still like this whole. Okay, well, I guess I shouldn't complain. The criteria of 
getting this done is a little wonky. Okay, so this is not the place we want to go. Uh, we should probably still check these doors. And I think they'll be harmless, and there might be one with a treasure chest in it. That's the door we want. This is a door we don't want. And this is also a door we don't want, but has a shortcut on the right side, I think. It makes getting here faster. The pit should be at the end of the hallway. And the shortcut should be right here. Oops. Yeah. All the way at the end of the hallway is a pit that leads to a place you don't want to go. Let's unlock this shortcut, go back through it. And that should be sufficient. Let's investigate the other rooms. They should just all be straight lines with pits on the other end. This one also has a foe in it. And this is the one we need to kill to move on. So here's another blood ant. Remember that this fight was serious the first time we fought it, so we're gonna treat it as though it's serious. I'm going to ignore the defensive side of the fight and go straight for smite instead of a uh, instead of using defender first turn. Works fine because Smite is stronger than any of my other single head attacks other than bait. Bait is technically my strongest attack ever for as long as I have it until I get Ecstasy, but I don't get Ecstasy. It's strange that the Dark Hunters have the uh, access to the strongest attack, X, uh, plural, and have a lot of ways to boost their own attack. It's quite nice of them, but they don't have as much AoE as the Lanshnack does, and I can think that's what gives the Lanshnack the boost, the edge over our Dark Hunter. Alright, let's trigger this. We know it's two-way, because it won't, it won't let us go back. Okay, and I was right. This is going to be a pit landing location. And likewise, the prongs over here are also going to be pit landing locations. I'll do a sec uh, take a second to get these uh, marks done. Alright, and we continue. Uh-oh. Falling through a pit from the floor above, you sense something ferocious about you. The prints in the mud and bite marks on the trees indicate this floor is an ant's nest. Exercise great caution as you venture forth. It's likely that many ants will appear to stun- Ooh, ooh, long word number one, stymie. Stime? Stymie? Stymie? I'm gonna go with Stiney. Stiney, your passage through this floor. Alright, as usual, um, this is the first long word of the series, I think. So, um, long word number one, Stiney, it shall be in the description. Though I'm sure some schmuck in the comments will be sure to reiterate it anyways, because that's just how smart some of my commenters are. Uh, so, if you're looking for that definition, I guess you know where to look. And, and or you can just look it up in the extra dictionary yourself, so why should you? I have it quite more easily accessible. And, uh, let's start with the east side of this. Madworm Hexfrog set, we're gonna send a Mirage to Hexfrog's way, and that should deal with him just fine. Oh, he's fast, okay. Now, in this game, the curse will still hurt you after you kill an enemy, if there's other enemies around. Which is, I think that's how it works in all the games, it might not be, so I think it's worth pointing out. Regardless, it's nice to know anyway. It's also nice to know that, that Hexfrog can go really fast to do that. Why is it freezing? Hello? That's weird. That is really weird. Um, let's go over to the store. This dead end should be nothing, yes. It's behind this door. Treasure room, box, FOE, two boxes and an FOE. Uh, if this is a blood ant, this won't be a problem at all, so, um, let's quickly map this in. This is a door over here, there's boxes in the corner, and an FOE in the mid-center. 
our center top. You have a plan, Eppley? Uh, apparently he has a path. Doesn't matter. Um, we'll just thrash him in anyway. That was, that was the initial plan. So same tactic as last time. Blood Ant summoned allies. I'm not sure if it just summoned another Blood Ant or what. Oh, it summoned a Death Ant. Okay, well, that's... A lot weaker and a lot more manageable. And to the graveyard with you. Okay. Wasn't aware the blood ant could summon allies, but now we know. Gum helmets. Probably gonna get that onto our medic out of our vaunt. We have a plume tap right now, which is a 2 plus 7. This is a 3 plus 9. Very nice. Go through here. Dead end, dead end. Just nothing but a dead end. Okay. And there's no other shortcuts out of here, as we tested those on the other side. So we have to go back west. Double guard ant set. Um all slash attack, 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 bravery. That should do it. Quite honestly, that should do it. Because we know all slashes in one hit, and those two assist attacks will definitely make sure that that's a one hit, so that is good. 62 Bone Shard, okay. And let's keep going west. Uh, I don't- I think this is just another Blood Ant. Oh, apparently there's a dead end here? Or something. Look, game, this is not difficult. Stop flash phrasing on me. Uh, all slash mirage. Yeah, all slash mirage smite. The strategy has not changed. Especially now that we know he will summon before all slash strikes, which means let's all slash take out the summon. put down by normal attacks. If your instinct kicks in, this guy's weak to fire if you have an alchemist or, the, or something else to do with the elements. And there's another blood ant over there. Something tells me the, they are infinitely spawning. Something in my brain is remembering that they are infinitely spawning FOEs that will continue to spawn for the int until the end of time. This means they're really good for experience grinding. This also means that they spawn until the end of time. Um, okay, so we know it does that, and that this is, in, uh, we're gonna mark this as infinitely spawn. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna assume that's an infinite spawn. There's no way to manage that. Uh huh. Right. Maybe this ant is guarding the exit. That's what I'm thinking. Servant appeared. Meet the servant. I must be the polar opposite of what we just faced. I'm using boost and mirage. Smite. Attack. Boosted bravery. It's a, it's a mystery to me why Eric and Flora always get their boost first. Uh, 280, 227, 274, Crusher. Still pretty good in the health department. I'm gonna continue spamming right, uh, these attacks. This L2 and attack. Okay, the Servant can really take abuse where the Blood Ant can't. Good to know. Now, where's the exit? I seem to have missed the exit. Check these walls again. The blood ant hasn't responded, I don't think. It'll probably respond when we hit here. Yeah, 
that a bit. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, this is odd. Um. Apparently, the F we just was blocking my way. And that just goes this way. I knew I was missing an exit somewhere. Finally gotten to the point where skills are getting super important that everyone in my team is using their TP to keep on keeping on. Which is good. I don't think there's any northern shortcuts from here. Bows bow alarms going off. One really close by now. Um hmm. I could smite to be a one hit. I think we must be on the other side of this wall. Hmm. Bound to get into clutch mode. Let's go. There must be some pattern to these dance movements. They're not aggressive, whatever that movement is. Let's try following behind one. He stopped. Okay! <laughs> okay, I had to focus. I had to shut up so I could focus. Um... Back. Now they're infinitely respawning. Let's, um...
around this corner. Only safe movement is south. 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 How many FOEs are around this place, man? West. West. East. West. West. These FOEs move in some moon language that I can't figure out right now, and I have no way to stay, so I'm gonna warp bar out of here. And I guess call it a day? We did finish the 11th floor, so next time on Etrian Aussie, we're gonna try to finish the 12th floor, or at least as much as we can. Um, a flute, and let's see if we can get anything else out of this stuff. A shamshir, a self bow. Fire another warp wire before we go. Weapons, shamshir, pretty weak. Self bow, pretty weak. Armor, nothing new. 20 TP for Jupiter's only. Mm. So hey there everyone, this has been Life Freak. As always, this is... Thank you for watching, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!